Bucks, Ma, if it ain't me, your bouncing baby boy. Halloween Horror Fest Spooktacular 2021 Origins Part 3 The Return Unrated Director's Cut returns for yet another Dean Gold Dang Old Monster Monday! The fourth and final one, in fact. <sighs> we at Halloween Horror Fest Spooktacular pride ourselves in our acceptance of all monsters and their monstrous modes of transportation. Say you're a Dracula, what with all the fog and the flying and stuff. Or maybe you're just an alien, all zipping and a popping and flying around on a UFO. Wolfman's pounce, fishman swim, pumpers pump, and tumblers tumble. But today, today's monster creeps and leaps. It slides and glides across the floor, out through your door, and all around the walls. A splotch, a blotch. Be careful of the blob. Now, man is no longer the supreme being on this planet. The Blob, the Blob is a 1988 remake of the 1958 classic, directed by Chuck Russell and co-written by Russell and Frank Darabont. Yes, that Frank Darabont. The Blob tells the tale of a small town community terrorized by a mysterious pink substance that escaped from a crashed meteorite on the outskirts of town. What transpires is an immensely tense body horror experience that supersedes the original in a way of scares and scale. Oh, these are pretty cool bananas. <laughs> the original Blob was a bit of a joke. More of a silly cash grab popcorn flick than an actual serious horror film. It gained notoriety more for its silly premise and its cheap practical effects. Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Because soon, very soon, the most horrifying monster menace ever conceived will be oozing into this theater. The 1988 remake, however, takes the central conceit, a pink, corrosive blob monster, and turns it into an earnest, high-intensity action horror film. Lots of charm and character in this one, particularly in the practical effects. The 80s was a watershed moment for body horror, with films like The Fly, <laughs> The Thing, Clear. Clear. Evil Dead, <laughs> and Hellraiser, <laughs> elevating it into a certifiable art form. The Blob deserves to be canonized in the pantheon of body horror classics. There are scenes and set pieces with moments so visceral that even seasoned horror professionals such as myself can't help but squirm in their seats. Also, as a point in its favor, but also kind of a content warning, The Blob uh, sure doesn't pull any punches when it comes to depictions of child endangerment. What would you do if there was a child right in front of you? The Blob gets uh, seven and a half, maybe eight out of ten. Super fun popcorn flick. Great time with friends, maybe a couple of drinks. The Blob uh, is available on Amazon, I think, but you know, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Better yet, go buy it. It's a good one to have in your collection. Here, you can you can borrow you can borrow mine. You, you can borrow mine. This is mine. Whoopsie doodles, it looks like we done plum run out of Monster Monday. Come over to my place tomorrow for our last In Two's National, where we will watch a Japanese horror film that was made into a terrible American remake. And it's not The Ring, or The Grudge, or One Last Call, or Apartment 1303, or... And if you want to follow along on this year's Halloween Horror Fest spectacular list, click the link below to take to my letter post. It's there. And... Like and subscribe. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor, right up through the door and all around the walls. A splash, a splash, a splash, be careful of the blob. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor, right through the door and all around the walls. A splash, a splash, be careful of the blob. Beware of the blob, it creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor, right through the door and all around the walls.